Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2022 Vibe 26BH travel trailer by Forest River RV. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this bunkhouse camper, and then we will close it all up, show you what it looks like closed as well. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now up inside the new 2022 Vibe 26BH bunkhouse trailer here. We're going to kind of spin our way through the inside of the RV and then we'll head back outside and then we're going to come back in closer up for you here. Um, so first things up, we're kind of looking here at the living room, kids room area, kind of back in this section here. So overall, they kept the same cabinet colors as they did for 2021. They didn't want to make a huge amount of changes because there's a lot of retail sold ones on order and they didn't want to shock people with the new changes too crazily. Um, so you have the same kind of light gray and whitewashed cabinets and stuff that they used last year. So no big change there really. You do have the high rise spring sprayer faucet here. You have the undermount stainless sink. You also have the traditional uh, little cutting board slash strainer board, whatever you want to call it, cover there. Um, up top here, you do have some overhead cabinets. There is a little skylight up above here. Furion microwave, traditional electric microwave there. You have the Furion oven with three burner stovetop. Does have the little flip glass lid there for extra counter space if you're not using the stovetop. The knobs are lit up and also have the oven light in it as well. Now down below there, you do have the uh, little pull out drawer that kind of looks like the oven, I guess you'd say, but it's basically a pull out drawer down there for some pots and pans. And you have two traditional drawers next to it. All three are full extending ball bearing drawer kind of drawers. Over there to the left under the sink, you have a little bit of storage area and that's where they put the trash can under there. Currently using the Coleman ducted air conditioner as the main AC here. Now one of the differences for the 2022 is going to be your refrigerator front. This is a Furion 12 volt refrigerator with the black kind of glass front. So that will be one of the changes for the 22 lineup right there. Below that 12 volt refrigerator is your electric box with your breakers and fuses and one of the heat vents. Over to the right of the refrigerator there, you have a nice size pantry area. And then the lower portion of that is an inspection panel that you would remove to access some things uh, for like winterization purposes and all that type of stuff. You have the U-shape dinette here. And this dinette will actually go down and make into a bed. So you could sleep one or two extra people here if you wanted to. And on the fronts of the dinette, you do have two doors that open. And then they're using these little tub, plastic tubs that they're giving you to kind of store some stuff in. They just slide in and out of there. Nice big windows and stuff in that slide out area as well. Now over here you have your sofa. This is a freestanding sofa, but this is a tri-fold sleeper sofa. So this will actually flip out and you could sleep one or two adults on it, depending on how friendly everybody is. On around to the back again here, you have two oversized bunks here. There's an electric outlet on the wall for each bunk area. And both of the bunk windows do open. There's some storage down below, heat vent down there. Furnace return right here as well because the furnace is located under that bunk. Back in this area right here, we'll pop up a couple pictures of this as well so you can see it a little better. Um, there again, air conditioning vent up top here. 
You'd be surprised how many bathrooms don't have air conditioning in some of these trailers. So back there in the back, you do have a nice size step-in shower. It does have a pull across like vinyl door there as well. Foot flush toilet. You have a sink area here with a little bit of storage underneath of that. And then you also have a medicine cabinet here as well. And obviously you can see the big entry door going in and out of the RV as well. So if your kids are running in and out a lot, they can come straight in and out of the bathroom without having to track up the whole RV to get in here. But overall, pretty roomy RV here. Quite a bit of floor space. Up here we have one of the other new items. This is a 50 inch flat screen TV that they made standard on the model. And this has a built in radio, FM radio, that runs through to the outside speakers. So you can listen to the radio, you can also listen to the TV. So if the game's on and you're unable to you know, necessarily pay a whole lot of attention to watching it, you could at least turn it on and play it through the outside speaker so you can hear it. Also, that TV has USB charger port, HDMI inputs, obviously. It's Bluetooth, so you could even play your music from your phone through that if you wanted to. Uh, so a few different things you can do with it. Electric fireplace down below. Again, a Furion 30-inch fireplace here. Basically a fancy, cool electric space heater, but you know, they do help kind of knock the chill off. You have some storage in there as well. And then over on the right, you have kind of a little cabinet area there as well. Back here into the master bedroom area, they have kind of a little pivot hinge door, so a little bit different on the hinge system of the door. In that uh, lower panel down there is an electric outlet, but also the solar charge controller down there as well. You have traditional hanging closet here on the left, and then you have some overhead cabinet space there as well. Electric outlet, USB charger ports back there on the wall above that little nightstand area there. Window on each side of the bed and both windows do open. There is a closet right there you can see pop up in the picture as well. This one was ordered with the optional second air and 50 amp electric service. So when you do the second air on this model, this is where they drop it in at. There's a backer in the wall here along with TV hookups, uh, electric outlet, cable outlet right there if you wanted to put a TV at the foot of your bed. Heat duct down there. Now we'll spin over this way so you can see it a little better from the other side here. Back in behind there is kind of a little shelf space area. And again, electric outlet and USB charger port back there. Now this bed does raise up as well. So there is a little cubby storage where you could kick your shoes underneath. They have these little black removable bag things under there. And then there's also some storage just behind that as well. So you do have a few areas of extra storage under the bed. And I almost forgot to mention here, next to the TV is your digital thermostat for your air conditioner and your propane furnace that the RV has as well. But overall, again guys, very cool bunkhouse camper for the family. Uh, we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside of the RV and then we're gonna come back in and I wanna close it up for you as well so you can check it all out closed up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we are now back on the outside of the all new 2022 Vibe 26BH. We're gonna start here on the door side of the RV and kind of work our way around here. So first things up, you have a white fiberglass exterior, aluminum studded side walls. You have a lower black metal skirting around the bottom section. You have a large pass-through storage compartment here. It goes all the way across the front. There is a light switch for the front cap lights just on that wall right there. 
aluminum tube framing here on the bed framing setup right there. You can also see the Blue Ox Sway Pro weight distribution hitch system there. That is an aftermarket item this customer chose to go with. Um, there are many different brands of hitches out there. Definitely recommend the Blue Ox. It's one of the most popular ones on the market right now. Uh, but there again, many different ones depending on what you might like. But down below here, you can see the power stabilizer jacks. And there's also a low point uh, freshwater tank drain right here as well. So if you are done using your unit and you still have water in the tank, that's where you're gonna drain it out. The unit comes standard with an enclosed underbelly as well. Power awning, LED light strip built in, adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff. Also has the little override in the front arm head here. Remove the rubber plug up there. You can put a socket ratchet in there and basically crank it in by hand. Hopefully you never need to do that, but it is doable if needed. On the front doorstep here, you have the nicer more ride entry step here. Basically this comes down, touches the ground. It's rated for 500 pounds. It'll flip up inside the doorway when you're not using it and traveling. Uh, but overall, it doesn't shake the camper as bad when your kids are running in and out or you're running in and out. Uh, so it does help stabilize the RV a little bit or give it a little bit of a more stable feel, I guess I should say, when you are running in and out of the RV. Large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the camper. Just above that is your model number, again, Vibe 26BH. As you're out shopping, walking around, looking on dealers' lots and stuff, you'll usually find a model number located right there by the main entry door. So you can write that down and let your salesperson know what you're looking at and like. You have the wide stance axle system here, which is supposed to make it a little more stable when traveling uh, down the highway there. Just a little bit less sway when you have this type of setup compared to the wheels being real close together. Aluminum wheels, four wheel drum brakes. Just above the front tire there, there is a cable and electric outlet right there. So if you wanted to put a TV out here, you could and hook up right there. You have two outdoor speakers, and again, those outdoor speakers now work off the TV that they put in uh, with the FM radio built into that TV. Just above the window there is your stove exhaust. There's a little flapper in there that you do have to open. You do have a little electric mini fridge. Again, strictly electric, no propane, no 12 volt on the mini fridge. So you do have to be plugged into electric to use that. You have a little dump sink here and a little cold water spray port as well. Behind that little black square right there is gonna be your six gallon water heater. And just inside there, you have in the lower center, the inch and a 16th drain plug. The lower left is the on off switch for your electric and up top there is the pressure relief valve. Again, remember to relieve the pressure before you drain it out. On the back door here, you have a traditional hover RV step style here. Now, these steps are rated for 300 pounds. This takes you again straight into the bathroom you seen when we were in there earlier. And you have a little small traditional grab handle right there. On the back of the RV is the power rear stabilizer jacks, and there's a button here to run those up and down, and there's also a button up front for the front jacks I may have forgot to mention. Now on around to the back of the RV here, you have a traditional four inch squared tube bumper, and you can see here the spare tire with the nice cover and everything is mounted to that hanging on the back end here. A lot of people do store their dump hose in that four inch squared tube bumper, the end caps on the bumper pop out so you can store things in it. In the lower right hand side here, you have your cable or satellite inlet into the RV. So if you go to a campground that has cable or satellite, or if you have a nice backyard you park this thing in, you could hook it right up to the house if you wanted to. Power cord on the uh, left side here. This is a detachable power cord. Now this one again was ordered with two ACs. 
So this one came with a heavier duty 50 amp electric service. Uh, so a little bit heavier power cord and stuff. The cord's about 25 or 30 feet long roughly, but if you do the traditional one AC uh, and standard 30 amp electric service, you'll still get the detachable power cord. It just won't be quite as heavy duty as this one, um, but your choice, depending on when you order the RV, what you prefer. Up top there in the back center, you have a pre-wire for an observation camera by Furion. And that camera basically would mount right there and then have a screen that would go basically suction cup to the window of your truck, shoots a signal back and forth, a wireless signal, so that you can see behind you when you're driving down the road or trying to back into your campsite. Talk with your sales guy about that. Really nice Furion cameras. Uh, they'll definitely be able to help you with more info on that. You can also see on the roof here, it does have a nice arch line to it, so it basically is going to help with water runoff on a rainy day. Now we're popping up a picture here of the roof, and you can see again, plumbing stack vents, ACs, solar panels, uh, skylights, all that type of stuff up there, guys. That stuff has a sealer around it, and you need to get up there from time to time, inspect those seals, make sure they don't crack open, and your RV leak. So very important, get up there and check it. In the back corner here, you have an outside utility shower right here, hot and cold water. Just to the left of that is your city water inlet, and below that is your black tank flush. And that black tank flush basically floods your toilet tank, rinsing it out just to kind of clean it out when you're done using it. Down below here is your dump area. So you have your gray, your black, and your galley, all three dumping out right here. You have to the left of the storage door here, your furnace exhaust area right there. Rear storage area, which does have a magnetic holder on it to hold the door up. Slide out on the RV again is an electric slide and it is pre-prepped for Solar slide toppers if you wanted to add those. You see a little bracket here in the corner and that basically is where the slide hardware would actually attach the slide topper hardware. But also your gutter track up there has a awning track built into it. So you could slide that into the gutter track, mount it right to it. So pretty simple to do, but it is pretty nice to have a slide awning cover. It basically helps protect the top of the room from some of the rain. Doesn't catch everything obviously, because sometimes the wind blows it sideways. Um, but it does kind of help protect the slide from some rainwater and things like that. Leaves, twigs, debris, all that stuff falling on top of there. Also helps shade the top of the room. Uh, the slide out rooms don't have as thick of a ceiling as you would on the regular part of the RV. So it does kind of help a little bit with keeping that ceiling from getting as hot. Now down here, there is another dump. I always forget to mention that on this model, but there is another dump right down here. And that is a gray tank dump as well. Now on this side right here, you have the fresh water tank fill. It is a gravity fill. And again, when you were on the other side, you've seen the dump area over there for that, the little handle at the bottom. Just to the left of that, we have some very important informational stickers we're going to pop up here for you. The very first one is going to be your main data sticker. And this basically tells you production date, VIN number, axle sizes, but most importantly on this sticker is your gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to before you risk breaking it. That's axle weight, hitch weight, everything kind of combined. Next sticker popping up is going to be your unloaded vehicle weight sticker. And this sticker basically tells you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. Next is gonna be your cargo carrying capacity sticker. This is basically telling you how much gear you can pack into the RV. Next up is your tire sticker, basically telling you tire size, along with your proper tire pressure. Tire pressure, very important guys, make sure you check it before each trip. Down here in the front section, you have a battery disconnect right down there. You can also see the battery box and everything right there as well. 
two 20 pound propane tanks with the hard cover, power tongue jack with a built in light, and also a manual override. Hopefully you never need to use the manual override, but it has one. Traditional seven way Bargman wiring plug for your lighting and everything. Safety chains. Heavy duty three quarter fiberglass cap, along with an LED light strip here. All right, guys, we're gonna head back inside. Wanna show you what it looks like inside closed up. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are now back inside the RV here. And again, I wanna just kinda of show you what it looks like closed here. So you come right back here to your monitor panel system, your control panel, and you got your slide button in and out right here next to the entry door here. First things up, you wanna make sure there is nothing in the floor that you're gonna run over and damage. So no kids' toys, rocks, pebbles, twigs, anything like that, because the slide will run it right over. And if it gets trapped in between the slide floor and your linoleum floor, you could damage your, your uh, linoleum floor here. So definitely make sure you got a clean floor. Push the button and the slide basically comes straight in and straight out. Real simple to do. So if you need to stop to go check and make sure there's no tree in the way or water pole or electric pole or whatever, you can do so. So you can stop on the, you know, when you're going out or coming in either way. Again, guys, don't forget to check out the guys at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. So when this comes all the way in, you can see we can still kind of get in here if we need to. We can come back, get to our fridge, get to our pantry. I could even go to the bathroom from in this doorway. However, again, you have that outside door you can walk straight in. Um, you can still kind of get to your kids' bunk area and everything back here, the storage underneath. So even though the slide is closed, we still could use the RV. It's obviously not as roomy, but still functional. You can come back in, get to your bedroom. So if you're stopping in a rest area on a long trip, everybody can kind of come in here, do what they need to do. And then when you get to the campground, obviously you just want to put it back out. And these slides, again, guys, are 12 volts. So as long as your battery's charged up, uh, you can run this thing in and out pretty easily. Your battery on the RV charges up when you are plugged into electric through the converter system. You also have the solar panel on the roof. And then your truck, when wired properly, should have a 12 volt charge wire with it as well. So it goes right out. Then when you hear kind of little clicky noises and stuff like that, you're basically all the way out. Thanks again, guys, for checking out my videos. Really do appreciate it.